Thanks for joining us here at Functional Bliss, where Audra and Jessica will guide you through exercises and wellness techniques to help you live your best life every day. It's in the name after all, Functional Bliss. Before you do anything else, click like and subscribe and ring the bell so you'll know whenever we put up a new video. To join our Blissful Gang for live Zoom classes where you can get more direct suggestions and encouragement, go to our website and sign up. Check the class description below for any equipment needs, grab your gear, and let's get started. Okay, we are going to get started with our weights class today. You will need both a mini looping band and a long band. And we're going to basically just put that mini looping band on as soon as we finish our warm-up and keep it on the whole time. But we're still going to start with our normal warm-up. Swinging our arms side to side. Bringing that motion through the back body, the side body, maybe the shoulder. Go ahead and add that little pump of the ankle. Couple more here. And then bring everything into the center and move into your side bend. Take a moment and listen to your body. Listen to what it's telling you today. Is everything feeling good or do you have any tight spots, any sore spots, any crunching going on? If you do, make sure that you're mindful of them because you never want to cause yourself any pain or injury. Moving from here into our forward reaches. Reaching out nice and long as far as you can. It could be to your ankles, through your toes, maybe past your toes. It really depends on you and your body. And then last one here. Coming back in, pull those knees in, start windshield wiper. Checking in. And then if it feels good for you, maybe bring your feet out a little wider. And then maybe add that roll all the way from one hip to the other. Beautiful. Two more on each side. And then bringing it back in the center, rotating the feet and the hands, loosen up those smaller joints, and then go the other way. And finally, wiggling the fingers and toes. Oh, we forgot the knees. Pop those knees up and down. Make sure everything's awake there too. And there we go. So we are going to start, like I said, by taking our looping band. We're going to put it all the way up right above the knees. You definitely don't want to put it on the knees because it can hurt the joint. So above the knees where you have a lot of that thigh muscle that will protect the rest of you. Then we're going to take our long band and put it around kind of the bottom of the feet. Sit up nice and tall in a staff pose but with our feet apart, so we're keeping a little tension on our legs there. And then we're just gonna do a bicep curl here. One minute on the clock. Here we go. Beautiful. And of course, as always, adjust the tension in your resistance band by where you grip it. If it feels too hard, Give yourself a little more slack. If it feels too easy, tighten it down a little bit more. But the goal is to hit that sweet spot where you feel the resistance, but you can still do a full curl. Beautiful. 20 seconds to go here. Still so keeping that tension on the leg. Almost there. And time. All right. Now from here, we're going to change position with that 
long band, but keep the looping band where it is. I'm gonna raise it up overhead, and then bring it down, and we're making like a nice big W with our elbow. One minute on the clock. Here we go. You don't need as much tension here to get good work, but again, adjust to what feels comfortable but like you're working for you. That may be nice and wide if you're working on just range of motion through the shoulders and the shoulder blades. Giving yourself plenty of slack. Or if you're feeling super strong and muscly today, you can choke up a little bit. So you have a lot more resistance there. You're halfway done already. Still sitting up nice and tall. And of course, breathing. Getting close. You have five seconds to go. You can do it. And come. All right, from here, still keeping that looping band where it is. But now we're gonna bend our knees a little bit, applying a little bit of that outward pressure there. Keeping all our muscles engaged. We're gonna lean back into a V-sit with the band above our head. And then we're just gonna do alternating pull down side to side. All right, you got it. One minute on the clock. Here we go. You can play with the tension on your legs as well by bringing your feet a little further out apart or by bringing them in closer together if you need a little break. This is gonna be a short workout, but we're gonna hit all the body. Halfway done already. Keep breathing. Working on our grip strength, our back, our shoulders, our abs, and our legs all at the same time in this one. Time. Excellent job. All right, from here, we're actually going to go all the way down on our back. Let me move my timer so I can reach it. And then we're going to do a glute bridge with an adduction. But to make sure we're keeping our upper body active as well, we're going to put a little tension on that long band, anchor our elbows, and just hold it nice and steady there while we're doing our bridges. One minute on the clock. Here we go. Up and out and back down. Keeping that tension on the long band, keeping the arms and shoulders active, but doing most of the work through our lower body right now. I have my feet fairly close together, so I can get more of that adduction working on the thigh muscle. Almost done. All right. All right, pausing there, give your hands a little shake, wiggle your fingers a little more. It can be intense holding onto that band the whole time. And then from here, we're gonna go into reverse tabletop. So figure a nice 90 degree angle here. Again, keeping tension on the band, so bringing your knees out apart a little bit. On the long band, you're gonna do the same holding tension in it. This time we're gonna do it above our head. And then we're just tapping down and coming right back up. Gonna really work our core on this one. Here we go. Keeping the tummy tight. A 
and you can just lightly touch the floor with your toes. Or, if it's getting intense, go ahead and set your heels all the way down and allow your body that moment of rest in between. Totally up to you. And then to add just a little more core work, if that feels good for you. Bring your knees all the way into your tummy, as close as you can. Still breathing. 10 seconds to go, you got it. Time. Great job. All right, from here, we're gonna roll over on one side. I'm actually gonna put the long hand down for this one. And we're just gonna focus on clamshells. We're gonna do one minute on each side. Here we go. I like to keep my top hand resting on my hip. Just a little activity through the arm and shoulder there. But you can set it down or on the floor, wherever feels good for you. Halfway done. Feel the burn through the thigh and the glute. As long as it's just a burn from working, you're good. But if you have any stabbing or crunching or electric tingling, stop. Give yourself a minute and then change your position. All right. All right. Flipping over to the other side. And then once you're set up, here we go. Now, how high do you need to lift that knee? It doesn't matter. However high you feel like you're getting good work without any pain. A lot of it will depend on your body structure and also how long and uh, how stretchy your looping band is. You're over halfway there already. Still breathing. Feeling those muscles activate. Controlling up and down. Don't let the band pull you down. You control your pace. Make the muscles work both directions. Time. All right. For our last one today, we gotta make sure we're including our lower legs too. So we're going to sit up nice and tall, coming back into that staff pose. Take our long band, and we're going to put it right around our feet. Bring them out apart so we're still getting that tension from the looping band. And then we're just pressing down with our calves. Leaned back, good grip. Here we go. If you feel like you're losing that activation in the upper legs, bring your feet a little further apart. So you're pressing out against that looping band. If it gets a little too intense and you're like, Ooh, my hamstrings, my booty is all done, bring those feet closer together and just focus on the calf. I'll see you. You got 20 seconds to go. You can do it. breathing. You're almost there. You got this. And time. Nice. All right. That is it. That is our seven minute workout. Go ahead and take those bands off. 
turn them to the side, take a sip of water, and then we'll do our stretch. All right, bringing that in, sitting up nice and tall, inhaling arms up, reaching forward towards your toes, stretch, 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 maybe even pull a little bit against the toes, get you a little bit more stretch through your shoulders and your back, and through the backs of your legs as well. One more moment here. release come all the way up we're gonna bring those legs out into a nice wide V take one arm bring it up and over you can even put your elbow down the rest against the floor so you can get a really deep side bend here and then from here we're just gonna round over and then pull back so that we're looking up towards the ceiling or the sky, the trees, whatever's above you. No more of those. And then go ahead, rest that hand, let everything sink down towards your knee. One more moment here, nice deep breath. Ah, and then come up nice and slow and gentle. And then we gotta go to the other side. Up and over. Stretch, 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 nice and long. And then if it feels good in your body, add that little slow and smooth rotation. If you're reaching forward across the room, and then pulling back, looking up. One more. And then let everything soften and sink. Relax your feet, your elbows, your shoulders, your neck. Take a nice deep breath here. Then roll up nice and slow. And then bringing the bottoms of your feet together. Sitting up super tall, keeping a nice flat back, stretching up like a flower, reaching through the sun. And then just a little lean forward. Still keeping that nice long spine. Coming back up, bring the knees in, give them a little squeeze, and then we're going to do that again. Bottoms of the feet together, nice long spine, maybe leaning just a little bit farther forward this time. And then coming up, squeeze the knees in, and last one. And then all the way up, stretch your legs out in whatever uh, manner feels comfortable to you. Take one arm, reach it right on across. And then little figure eights with your nose. Just tiny movement, massaging the neck. And then release and go to the other side. Same thing, just tiny motion. And release. You can always finish off with any other stretches that would feel good to you. Making sure that you're taking care of your body, especially your neck and your shoulders. When you work out, 
at the end of your workout, sometimes they get really tight, and then later in the day, you're like, why do I have this headache? It's so crazy. That's why. So you can also do some little neck stretches here. Do those throughout the day, maybe rolling side to side, just to make sure you're taking care of yourself. Thank you so much for coming out today. I hope you enjoyed our short workout, and I will see you again next week.